In lesson 8-SU, we'll write two-step equations that represent real-life situations. So for example, one, we'll, we'll translate three more than half a number is 15 into an equation. So let's underline some key parts here. It says three more. So if we want to write that, it would be uh, three more means addition. Then tells us to flip the order. Um, half a number. Half a number could be written uh, a couple different ways. We could say n divided by 2, or we could say um, 1 half n. Um, either way would be the same. Um, is, we write equals, and then 15 um, is the other side there. So now let's rewrite it, um, getting everything in the correct order, um, because since we had the word then, we do need to flip it. Um, so let's go ahead and write um, n divided by 2 plus 3 equals 15. So this represents the same thing. Um, right now it's not actually asking us to solve this equation. It just says we're going to write, translate this into an equation. Um, so we're actually kind of done here. Um, if you wanted to solve it, you know we would subtract 3 on both sides first, then multiply by 2 on both sides. And then we would be able to solve for our n. Okay, translate 5 more. Then tells us to flip it, flip the order. One third a number. So we can say one third n, or we can say uh, n divided by 3. Okay, we have is 7. So let's rewrite it, uh, getting in the correct order. So we can write one third n plus five equals seven. Okay, again, you could have used n over three um, instead of one third n, and that would have been just fine. Okay, translate nineteen is. So now we're going to write nineteen equals two more. So that would be two plus. Then tell us to flip the order. Flip it. Okay, 5 times a number, so we can say 5n. All right, now uh, 2 plus 5n is the same as 5n plus 2, but we do want to get it in the correct order, so let's rewrite it. 19 equals 5n plus 2, and that's the, the order that it should be. Um, right now, since uh, addition is commutative, it doesn't make a big difference, but just get in the habit of flipping it whenever we see of the word then, so that way when we do get a subtraction problem, we're used to doing that, and it's a habit. Okay, so we have 15 is 3 more than, tells us to flip it, 6 times a number, so we have 6n. Okay, so let's rewrite it, 15 equals 6n plus 3. Okay, again, because then tells us to flip it. All right, so now we're, uh, we're getting used to writing our two-step equations. Yesterday, I just gave you the two-step two equations, and we solved them. Now we're going to uh, practice writing them. Um, translate 8 less than. So we have 8 less than tells us to flip it. Now it is really important. Twice a number, so that's 2n, is negative 35. All right, so let's rewrite that correctly. 2n minus 8 is negative 35, um, and that would be our, our equation there for our answer. Okay, 6 less than. So we're going to go 6 less, flip it, 3 times a number. So that would be 3n is negative 22. So go ahead and get that in the correct order. Um, notice here, though, okay, um, we had minus and then a flip it. So let's go 3n minus 6 equals negative 22, and that will give us the correct equation. A taxi ride costs $3.50 plus $2 for each mile traveled. If Jan pays $11.50 for the ride, how many miles did she travel? Okay, so this is our total. So we can think of it as $11.50 uh, equals, now it says $2 for each. Um, each, is, each or per tell us that we're using multiplication. So I'm thinking uh, 2 
times m, where m stands for miles. So right here I can write m equals miles. Uh, it's important to identify your variable. And then um, it's going to be uh, 350 constant fee. So that means as soon as you step in the taxi cab, you owe $3.50 whether you drive a block or uh, two blocks or even two feet. You still owe the driver $3.50. And then it's $2 for every mile after that. Um, they do that so that way people don't just get a, get a ride for less than uh, a mile and then they get a free ride. So um, here we would be able to figure out um, how many miles she rode and we actually have to do that. It says how many miles did she travel. So go ahead and subtract 350 on both sides. Okay, so this is canceled out. We'll bring our 2M down. And this is all canceled, and I'm left with $8. So and then I divide by my 2 miles, or uh, my $2 per mile, sorry. And now I'm going to find out that I, um, that Jan rode for 4 miles. So go ahead and include your label in there. So M equals 4 miles. <clears throat> again, make sure, again, it's important to identify your variable up here. Tell me what M stands for. M equals miles. And so four miles is our answer. A rental car costs $100 plus 25 cents for each mile traveled. So I'm going to go ahead and write that right now. So 0 0.25 M plus $100. Okay, and that equals the total $162.50. Um, so how many miles did she travel? Well, we need to go ahead and solve the equation. Okay, subtract 100 on both sides. That's the flat rate for the rental car, and then it's an additional 25 cents per mile. Okay, so she spent an additional $62.50. So now we need to divide by uh, 0.25 on both sides. So we can figure out how many miles she traveled. So miles equals, again, um, up here, M equals miles. It's important to identify your variable. And actually, it might be a better idea to do that right away when you start the problem. Figure out what you want to use for a variable and then tell, tell me what it stands for. Because I always like the, um, to identify the variable right on the top. So if you needed to, you could jump onto a calculator here for this. Um, 6250 divided by 25 cents. Um, gives you 250 miles. So just go ahead and write that. Include your label, 250 miles. And that would be your answer for this equation. So today, we're not only solving these equations, we're writing the equation, and then we're solving um, it. Um, but up here, be sure to just read your directions. If it just says translate, then we're not actually going to be solving for anything. So make sure you read your directions so you know what you're expected to do. Uh, you and your friends spent a total of $33 for dinner. Your dinner costs $5 less than your friends. So how much did you spend for your dinner? Um, well, what we can do here is we can say um, F equals the friend. Friend's dinner. Okay, we know the total is $33. So I'm going to write that right here. 33 equals Okay, and then it says $5 less than. So that would be 5 uh, less than your friends. Okay, so now let's write that correctly. Let's go 33 equals F minus 5. Okay, because the friends cost $5 more. So we're going to subtract 5 and get, um, get our total here. I'm sorry, there's actually an additional variable here that, that we're forgetting. Um, <clears throat> F minus 5 just stands for how much your dinner costs. Your dinner costs $5 less than your friends. But when you look here, you and your friends spent a total of $33 for dinner. So we're going to actually have F minus 5. That's, that's your dinner. okay? But then you're going to also have the price of your friend's dinner. Okay, because um, both you and your friend 
uh, purchase this dinner. So we have the $33 total, and the F minus 5 stands for your dinner, okay? And then you also have your friend's dinner. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and combine like terms. We have an F and an F here, so let's go 33 equals 2F minus 5. So let's add 5 to both sides. And what this is essentially doing is making the two dinners equal. So we can say 2F equals uh, $38. Divide both sides by 2. And then F is going to equal um, $19. So if both of your meals were identical, uh, you would both eat a $19 meal. But it didn't cost $38. It cost $33 because yours was $5 less. So um, F equals the friend. And then your meal, remember, is F minus 5. So we're going to do 19 minus 5 equals our $14. And that's how much your meal was. And that's, that is what the question is asking. It says, how much did you spend for dinner? You spent $14 and your friend spent $19 for a grand total of $33. So um, even I didn't notice that right away. I was just figuring out the equation or the expression to represent your meal, which is F minus 5. But make sure you include um, your friend's meal as well by including another F. Okay, so we can practice that again. You and your friend spent a total of $48 for dinner. Uh, your dinner costs $4 more than your friend's. So now your dinner costs $4 more than your friend's. So how much did you spend for your dinner? Okay, so I can say F equals friend again. And now we can say 48 equals, now let's figure out the expression for my dinner. Okay, it's $4 more than, so 4 plus the flip it sign, um, more than the friend. Okay, and then um, I'm also going to include the friend's meal as well. Um, I'm going to do that, though, after after we flip it, but um, let's go ahead and flip that part first. We can say F plus 4 plus F, and then we can combine like terms right here. So 48 equals 2F plus 4. Subtract 4 on both sides so we can find out um, what it would be if both of us spent the same amount. Um, so I'm going to find uh, 2F equals... 44, and if we divide by 2, then F equals $22. <clears throat> okay, but remember now, we actually spent uh, $4 more than your friend. So remember, this part right here is the expression for our meal. So we're going to have to do 22 uh, plus 4. Okay, that would be like uh, our F our F plus 4, that represents our meal, F plus 4. So we substitute the 22 in for a grand total of $26 is how much our meal spent. Uh, my friend's meal cost the $22. We spent more. And then together, 22 plus 26 equals 48, uh, which is our grand total for the meal between the two of us. Okay, so for homework tonight, be sure to check the answer keys that I've also placed on Moodle. Um, and you can also watch uh, some other tutorials that, that are also uh, put on there by the Glencoe.com website that I've also linked to Moodle.